hey guys so welcome to another video so in this video we are going to learn how to update the database values from android application in previous video in previous two videos precisely we learn how to fetch the data from the database and to display that data into our android application then we submitted the data from android application to the database we sent uh the the, uh, the parameters alongside our urls uh url not urls uh by the way anyway so in this video we are going to update the data in the database from our android application so without wasting time let's just get started with it but before that please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can get the notification whenever i post the new video please it will motivate me please subscribe to the channel so let's just get started with it let me create another activity to uh where we from where we will update the database so let's let me right click on this folder java folder and new activity empty activity i'm gonna name it uh update activity update activity click on finish it will create an activity for us and i want to add it to the github by the way, I'm uh, posting the link of the source code in the description. And again, I want to talk one more thing about the source code. I posted a link to the uh, source code of the APIs, but it is not the correct way to make APIs. It is not secure. I'm not using any encryption or anything. It's just a simple uh, code that interacts with uh, the database the php code that interacts with, with the database and it is also the procedural php uh, it is not a secure way to create an api it is just the code that interacts with api so it, if you are a very noob uh, in php you can refer to that code you can have an idea how to uh, interact with database using php but that's not the way to do it, right? Yeah, you have to use encryptions and whole lot of other things in PHP, but it is not the video about PHP, so I'm not gonna talk about that in detail. So let's get back to the Android part. So go to update.xml file, and I'm gonna create a small form from where we can uh, update our value. So actually, I'm gonna take uh, the form from our submit activity. Let's just copy the code from here because i'm too lazy to code again and again i don't want to code the simple things again and again so let me just copy this from here and paste it down here and i'm just gonna name uh uh update the name of it so update name ed then update email ed then update password ed then we have submit button which i'm not gonna write it that way update button so yeah instead of submit user i'm gonna write update user so let's say we don't need to do anything else let me just close all of the activities and uh, we will need main activity for now so i'm not gonna close it so yeah now go to update activity.kt and um, before that we, before we do anything here let uh let, let me just init all the views here init views let's just create another function for it and let me check variables for whatever fields we have in our xml file so private lit init var we have three edit tags so uh name ed of type we have not the simple add text i believe we have used text input edit text and material button so let's just take text input all right why well, i'm typing everything wrong today text input headed text and we have we need three two more variables of that same type so email ed then password ed 
and uh, we need one more field which is for the submit button so private late you need for um, update button actually so update button of type material button all right now go to init view method and initialize all the views name ed equals to find view by id r dot id dot update name update okay we have something else as id update name ed and update name ed and let me just copy these lines and copy pasting is very easy and time saving actually so i use that quite often but while copy pasting you need to take care of take care of uh, what you actually need and what you're actually typing so yeah update email ed update password ed and update button okay we have okay capital u so which is not the correct way to type an id so you can use capital but it's not the right way to do that so and uh, i just realized we have something some issues with ids here as well so we change the ids so update name ed go to here and resolve all the conflicts password id actually and uh, here we need to have update email id so the const uh, constraint was wrong here so we need to change the ids of uh, at constraint constraint to bottom off as well so make sure you do that as well if you are copying everything from the update, uh, submit activity so make sure you change the ids here as well so anyway let's uh, close this as well now go to main activity .getting and here we are clicking the item of the recycler view let me just open our app on emulator and when we click it is giving us the email id of that right so but we don't need an email id we need id of the user and we don't need to toast it instead what i want is i want the uh, user to go to the update activity so let's write start activity intent uh, this to update activity class java and i'm gonna uh, send uh, the id alongside this so i'm gonna put extra the name uh the key of that will be id and the value of that will be list position uh the same that we uh the same thing that we get our id at the toast method so i'll write the same thing here there as well and send the id alongside this intent so we don't need this toast anymore let me just comment it down and it will take us when we click on this item it will take us to update activity and it will send id of that user alongside the intent so go to update activity again now here we need to have access to that id that we are sending from intent so let's write well id equals to uh let, let me just actually and uh, anyway uh, i was thinking to make id a global variable but let, let it, it will work as well so id equals to get intent uh so intent dot uh get string extras or uh, get string extra here it is and let's give id the name of the key 
and now let's call a method on uh, button click listener so update button click update button dot set on click listener and actually we need id inside this button click listener so let's take this here from here and now we'll call a new method uh, update user to write our Wally code and we'll pass ID inside it and let's create another function for it so we have a function let me just close this method for now so if we take less of uh, the screen size let me make a space now we need a URL here so val URL equals to uh, base URL base underscore URL plus we have a file name uh, for update user is uh, let me just check it once update user dot PSP so yeah update user dot PSP and inside it uh, we are sending an id as post request so let's create a request queue first so well request queue equals to volley dot new request queue this as context then volley uh sorry string request string request equals to string request the first parameter will be the method we are sending id in a post method so we write uh, request dot sorry not wise interact r-e-q-u-e-s-t uh, i don't know why i'm typing everything wrong today uh, request dot method dot post 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 we need to import request here uh, the one with Wally yeah here it is post the second parameter will be URL that we created the third will be uh, response listener so response dot listener and I'm gonna name it response the last parameter will be error listener so response error listener error sorry for the background noise uh larry just passed through my house uh, actually and we'll need to create an anonymous class and for that we'll need uh to write object here so by the way if you don't know what uh, i'm doing here i replace refer to the last video of this playlist the previous video where we we are inserting the values in the database anyway let's create another let's override a function override fun get params and it will be the type it will uh, the return type of this will be hash map spring string and inside it we'll create an instance of hash map map equals to hash map string string both map uh, both key and value will be the type of string in hash map then we put map id equals to id and we'll return map and in response here we'll toast whatever response we get from the api so this response then uh, toast dot length short dot show and we'll also go to our main activity so start activity intent this to main activity 
double colon class java and don't forget to add this string request to request queue so request queue dot add string request and we need to check for null check so uh, it says the type variable v found string nullable string right so we need to pass this double ex exclamation mark so it will be non-null variable so that's it i don't think we need to do anything else let's uh, run our application now if i click on a user it will take me to the submit activity i'm gonna change uh, every every single field so instead of throw i'm gonna write through one two three email will be through one two three at uh, gmail.com by the way it's not my email id again so do not message me on that and password will be one two three four and i'm gonna update the user okay it's giving me some sort of warnings open a log cat and let me just first check the database if uh, the values are updated or not so okay the user is now blank so let me go to the lock cat okay so uh, the thing is that we are passing only id while we are updating we are trying to update the user we are not passing an email id uh, email name or password here as it is saying me uh, actually what i did here is i just locked the response here so it is giving me the results uh, that, that it says undefined array key name email and password so we need to obviously we need to uh, pass the new email id password and uh, uh, the name alongside what we are uh, alongside the id as well so uh, let's just take well name equals to uh, name id dot text dot to string then well email equals to name id dot text uh, dot to string actually not name id we have to write email id then same way password we have to fetch password from password id and we need to pass all the fields uh, alongside id in the function that we created name email and password and we need to change uh, that parameters in this uh, function as well so and inside map we have to pass everything alongside id again so name equals to name map email equals to email then map password equals to password so now let's run our application and it should work now before that uh the why why the user value were blank uh will become blank uh, the reason behind that is we are not passing anything from here so it was inserting a blank value in the database so now let's try to enter the values right now the database values are blank in the database so it should update the database values with the values that we are going to insert so one two three four and now let's update the user and it is still giving us a value uh giving us the warning so all right i don't think we need to change anything i uh ran the application but it it worked somehow so let me just re rerun application in front of you we i didn't change a bit of this code maybe i I didn't run at the first point after changing this uh, name, email, and password thing. So let me just read it. Uh, as you can see, uh, the data is updated here because uh, 
when I was not recording, I rerun to check whether it is working or not, but it worked perfectly. I didn't change a thing. So let me just uh, run it again to show you. So the HRV 123. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at gmail.com uh, hmail.com well that's another thing 888 now if I update the user if it tells me data updated the name is updated and if I check in the database and if I refresh it the data is updated so I don't know why it didn't work the first time so let's just recap it was uh, very uh, confusing May be confusing for you, but we didn't did uh, we didn't do anything uh, uh, different uh, from the previous videos. So, in the main activity, when I was uh, getting the email on the click method, I will I'll, I'll I'm giving an intent to the update activity, and I'm sending an ID of the user uh, alongside this intent and the update activity. I'm initializing the views first of all. Then uh, when I click on the button and taking every bit of information uh, like name, email and password from edit text and um, an ID from intent and I'm passing that in the, in the function update user and inside update user I created a URL, a request queue, a string request and an anonymous class where I'm overriding a function that returns a hash map and I created an instance of hash map I passed every bit of value that I have, uh, the ID of the user, name, email, and password. This name, email, and password are the, uh, uh, are the name, email, and password, uh, which, I'll, uh, which I get from the update uh, form, right? The, basically, the updated email, password, and name. And I'm adding this string request in the request queue. I hope it is uh, now simple for you. So that's it we don't uh i think we don't need anything else to explain here so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video and again guys please subscribe to this channel and give me a valuable feedback so that i can improve the content uh in the comment section if you find anything confusing please ask in the comment section and please again the code for apis in the description is not the ideal code to make a uh, make an api it is uh just to uh, just a code to interact with the database so do, do not use that code in real life environment right so that's it for this video please subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video